Alright, so my way, time for another review. Oh, oh, we're fucking really really look. Look. Yeah, <laughs> this time a film. Oh, my nose itching. I don't know. Yeah, this film, I actually saw it like a couple of days before Lion King. But it took, as soon as I saw Lion King, that took like priority. <laughs> yeah, this this film, it's, um, yeah, Johnny English 2. Or Johnny English Reborn. Reborn, that's like, that's a bold title, that, that scene. Reinventing the idea of this character, which wasn't really a character to begin with, but just an archetype and a spoof of stuff. But let's, let's just get into this. Uh, yeah, Johnny English 2. Alright, now, the main guy, Rowan Atkinson. I'm a huge fan. I love Rowan Atkinson. He's, he's very funny. You know, Black Adder, Thin Blue Line. And of course, his stand-up's hilarious and all. He's not done much. He, can't, he's hard. he hasn't done many stand-up acts, but... Hmm. Hmm. He's really funny. And, yeah, so, I'm a huge fan of Johnny English, like the original. Like, it came out, I think, 2001 or 2002. Not sure of the year. It's around that time. And basically, it's a spoof of James Bond. It's a James Bond spoof. Where he plays Johnny English. He's like, a, he just works in an office. And Agent 1 of MI7 dies. And he, is, he becomes the new top agent. And he just bowls as everything up. Absolutely everything he bowls as up. So... The way I look at John English, he's not a character, right? He represents, he's the anti-spy, right? He represents everything a spy shouldn't be. That's all he is, right? Every character in that film represents something from James Bond, some, fit, some stereotype, some archetype, right? So, this new film, Johnny English Reborn, they put in a proper story, right? It's... <laughs> It's an action film. The new one is an action film. It's not a comedy. Don't get me wrong, there's some fucking hilarious parts in it. But primarily, it's not. A, it's a comedy. You know, there's funny parts in Pirates of the Caribbean. You know what I mean? But that's that's not a comedy, it's an action film. This Johnny English is a spoof. It's a comedy. Could you imagine if they made a naked gun and made that into an action film? But then you know, put some comedy elements in it, it won't work, would it? Well, Leslie Nielsen's dead. God bless that guy. <laughs> so, there, yeah, I would be so pissed off if they made another naked gun. But, yeah. Anyway, yeah, John English 2. It's alright. Yeah. I, I don't... It's a difficult one, because... Well, for one, they had no reason to make a sequel. Because... First one did exactly what it was set out to do, just rip up James Bond films, you know, lovingly rip up James Bond films, and have Rowan Atkinson do his thing, and, you know, it was just, a, it was great fun. They didn't need a sequel, it really didn't, but this new film, right, they've made it more serious, so, alright, the plot, alright, Johnny English, he's not in MI7 anymore, because he's bowls up a big case, right? So, his film starts off, and he's training with monks. And that, that in itself, right, they, they train Johnny English to be a badass. And the rest of the film, the plot's not that memorable, it really isn't. That's what I mean, it's such a generic action film, with some funny bits in it, it's really not that memorable. Whereas first film, it was so English, like... Just the plot in itself, like, John Malkovich wanted to become King of England, right? You know what I mean? It's just... With monarchy and all that, it's such an English film. This doesn't feel like an English film. This, yeah, there's a lot of English actors, but it doesn't feel English. It feels Hollywoody. And a film called Johnny English shouldn't feel Hollywoody, as far as I'm concerned. It should be a proper English film. But, yeah, uh... I don't want to turn this into a rant. I'm not really angry at this film. It's... It entertained me, I guess. It was alright. I, I, I'm not fussed. There's a few funny bits. But yeah, there's a... What is it? There's a key. There's three keys, isn't there? 
I forgot what it does. Yeah, it's basically these ga these guys making a weapon. Johnny English is he comes back to MI7 because they need him for summer, and stuff happens and it's just spy stuff. It's a bland film. This is a bland plot. The film. They, do you know what saves this film? Rowan Atkinson saves this film. He's just, you know, his performance because he, he just plays himself. He plays what he's good at doing. And if you want to see him do stuff like that, it's all right. I will say it's better than Mr. Bean's Holiday. That was fucking terrible. It's at least that because that film didn't have a point to it at all. It was just they were going to different places, just going. You know what I mean? This film, at least it does stuff, and there's some hilarious bits, like, especially to me, best bit of this film, there's a roof, this was a bit that was more like a spoof than anything, there's a chase scene on a roof, now if you remember the one in Casino Royale, you know where they're really acrobatic and going on these, like, scaffolding and stuff, well there's a scene in this film, where it kind of parodies that, at least I thought it did, where this, it's chasing this Chinese guy across roofs, but it's really funny how it's done. <laughs> I love that scene. I might, I'm going to have to see it again just for that scene, because it were really well done, that. But Yeah, the problem is there's a lot of bits which don't add up, like, like Pegasus was such a good character in the original one. And where's Boff? Where the fuck's Boff? Eh? That would, that... That relationship, you've established a relationship, but it's gone. Yeah, to be fair, the new guy's alright though. They don't have that kind of bond though. You know, like in the original, uh, Summit Miller, what's he called? I don't know. He does a lot of comedy on telly though. You know, the guy who played Boff in the original. He should have been in it, and I'm fucking pissed off because he were in trailer. I'm, he weren't me. He were in trailer. So, he were in fucking trailer. That's right, but that. You don't do that. Hmm. But yeah, that's the thing. If you're looking for a spy spoof, this isn't a spy spoof. It's it in, and that's stupid. Like, there's a bit of end. Uh, it's not really a spoiler, but Johnny English. There's a bit involving monorails, and Johnny English hanging onto a monorail. He doesn't. That was the thing, you know, in the first one. I believed that this was an ordinary guy who had been misunderstood for an agent. And that was the fun in it. But this film, they made him into a spy. He isn't. It's fucking Johnny English. Yeah, this film didn't have to be made. Alright, I'm going to give it... it were re I, we were entertaining, I must say. Even though like a lot of things were changed, they kind of missed the point. But I really, I kind of enjoyed it. Three, three fingers... I don't know, two. Now I'm going to get two. It really isn't as good as original. The original is a it's a good spoof. The character they kind of change as well. Like, it bullshits so much. You know, the original where he's in them tunnels and he's going out the sonic chanting and he's ah, he flee, flee, flatty, flatty, flat, he flat. You know, he's doing that. And sing, thank you for the music. I don't need to go on about it, it's great. But he bullshits so much. You know, because he, he becomes a spy and then he thinks he's like brilliant and he thinks he knows everything. Whereas in this one, he's. He, do, he doesn't show. And to me, it didn't really show. There's a couple of bits. Alright, there were one bit on a plane where he mistranslate, you know, with translation, and they did bring back the fact that he can't speak other languages, you know, it's through subtitles and things. They, that's what I mean, some bits, I think the character they kind of got right, it's just the plot doesn't, it's too, it's too action it's too hollywood -y. it's not Johnny English. That character's kind of right, but it's not a Johnny English film, as far as I'm concerned, it's a fun film. It reminds me a lot more of, like, I Spy, you know, we, uh, Owen Wilson and, uh, why well, I forget his name, Eddie Murphy. Because that were a serious film. That were an action comedy. Johnny English isn't, it's a spoof, it's a pure comedy, whereas Johnny English Reborn, action comedy. And to me it shouldn't have been, it should have been a spoof again. If they should, they shouldn't have even met it, but... 
the funny bits, they're the best bits, the funny bits are the best bits, all the action is bland, it's not needed. Well, it's, you can need a bit, you know what I mean, it's just, compare it to a lot of action films, it doesn't stand up. Simply, simple as, it just isn't needed. If you're a fan of Rowan Atkinson, if you like the first film, then see it. If not, you're not missing out. Seriously, you're not. It's... There's a few really, there's a few funny bits, but it's not enough to sustain you through the full experience unless you're a fan of that kind of thing. So, yeah, make your mind up. Let me know what you think about Johnny English Reborn. Reborn. But yeah, anyway, this is Slim On. Thanks for watching. Yeah, and goodbye.